We often report on the dangers of peer pressure. In this case, though, some Lincoln High School seniors say they have good intentions. Yeah, it's homecoming week at LH LHS. The newly crowned king and queen are using their platforms to tackle COVID-19 and influence their underclassmen to do the same. It feels good to be king and queen. It felt amazing. Um, amazing to have all my friends there uh, cheering me on. It was exciting. It was a fun night and pretty memorable for everyone. But heavy is the head that wears the crown. Or, in this case, mask. LHS homecoming king Nicholas Jensen and queen Elizabeth Jerstead say with great power comes great responsibility. At football games, you know, we'll say, you know, underclassmen, put on your masks. These two are just some of the seniors using their influence to encourage their younger peers to wear masks at school to help keep others from getting sick. It's peer pressure, but it's positive peer pressure to do the right thing. Though wearing masks has become highly politicized, the CDC still recommends them to slow the spread of COVID-19. I don't like it. I've gotten used to it. Um, but obviously it's not only to protect our loved ones, but to keep the school year going. It appears to be working. Sophomore Samantha Zeke estimates about 95% of students wear them and says it helps to see the older students set an example. I think it's really good because a lot of people follow others. So if they see everyone wearing a mask, then they're thinking I should wear one too. Starting the school year as king and queen feels pretty good. Jensen and Jersted say doing what they can to keep others safe and make it to the end of their senior year will be the real crowning achievement. As a senior, I can't enforce that. You know, it's not my place to tell people what they can and cannot do, but I would really encourage people to wear masks. We want to know Nicholas Jensen happens to be the son of Kelloland Media Group's news director, Beth Jensen. And though the school district expects students to wear masks, it does not require them to do so. A spokesperson says the district doesn't punish students who make the choice to not wear masks.